Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. So yeah, as you can see, we are basically trading down in the lower the lower half of this uh, of this uh, wider range. This range from about forty two thousand down to about thirty five thousand. Uh, obviously, we didn't uh, we didn't manage to get supported for long at this uh, at this roughly midpoint of the range. But either way, this uh, this previous level of support, uh, and we're back in the thick of this price action area here. So. Um, so so yeah we obviously we know what is going on we just flick over to the stock markets we can see they have taken this leg down here into their major level of support actually uh, major just on the basis that this is our previous level where we did bounce from this is clearly not in any way shape or form a bullish looking chart uh, this is obviously is a bearish looking chart so we have got it we've got to make progress from here we've got to this has got to be a bit of a uh, of a uh, fake not I say a fake out a bit of a uh, of a bear trap uh, and as we've got to we've got to get back above I mean realistically you've called it 4400 uh, and then that could trigger some nice moves up but I mean clearly we are uh, we are driven by the uh, the politics that's going on over over in the Ukraine at the moment so uh, but yeah at the moment at least uh, uh, we're trying to move away from here like i said back above 4400 things could look could look uh pretty good and that would obviously similarly give bitcoin a bit of a boost as well uh i mean again looking at the chart if we uh, obviously put in a low above this support area at or above it and obviously would be a higher low relative to this low down here uh then and then yeah i mean ultimately we can try and reverse this uh, massive downtrend we've had since the since the recent all-time highs uh put in a nice higher low here and then take out these levels and then ultimately obviously take out this level will go will be a full reversal but obviously things getting driven by politics at the moment um so yes uh, if we look at the 10 year it is still uh, easing off uh, easing off well obviously a little bit of a rider this morning but uh, easing off from these high levels uh, this can potentially make its way down obviously with the problems going on and the further we drag on into this uh, into this uh, potential reduction of liquidity and interest rate right interest rate raising schedule uh, obviously as this year drags on things are going to be uh, just uh, um, more difficult for uh, for risk assets to do well so um, the 10 year obviously is reflecting um, the fact that obviously in that scenario inflation will come down in that scenario rates won't get raised as, as high as much so uh, dollar also uh, just uh, floating around the air this uh, this uh, this in this zone obviously towards the lower part of it um, but um, but yeah in in a bit of a sideways range here oil obviously we're off the back of what is going on uh, making new moves towards uh, basics towards these new recent highs again and what else anything else want to look at i mean gold look at gold gold as we can see uh, had a big push up here slam back down but still trading actually at present just above 1900 so the ps shifts of the world would be pretty pleased with that uh ethereum usd ethereum sorry it's ethereum btc uh back down at our support um is looking like a descending broadening wedge um, but obviously we'd like to hold this support and break onwards and upwards um, but yeah down testing support again obviously with the uh, negative sentiment in the market and the USD uh, pairing also is similarly getting down this actually looks very similar to Bitcoin with this being the appropriate level uh, that uh, we want to get supported by with that being the ultimate obviously the spike low that we did have before uh, so yeah, I mean, all eyes on the stock market. This needs to reclaim 4400 ASAP, and the uh, and the, uh, the 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 hopefully storm in a teacup needs to calm down over in the Ukraine. Obviously, Bitcoin then get back above. Uh, well basically 40,000 we can call it 40 I mean it's a bit less than 40,000 but yeah Bitcoin back above 40,000 um, we can start to look uh, start to look to uh, have putting a, a higher low here uh, but obviously none of that's happened yet uh, for our is uh, is well actually looking to turn back up here as we can see uh, 12 hour looking to try and turn back up daily still diving and sorry missed the 10 hour out 10 hour turning up as well so 10 hour can feed through to 12 hour daily 
is obviously going to get pretty low and ultimately have to turn back out or back up. So if 10, 12 hour can get going, we can hold this level, push back up towards 40,000, daily can get going. Obviously, we do know, obviously, X off the two day, three day has actually flipped back down here. Uh, and then five day and weekly uh, not looking as bad. Uh, obviously, five day looking to flip back down too, but weekly there from a low level. I mean, and like I said, realistically, uh, even stochastics aside, um, we obviously need those shorter time frames to pull through, get us back above 40,000, and then we can probably probably look towards obviously high higher prices and put this uh put this current iteration of bear market action uh to bed but yeah like i said a lot of it is dependent on where the stock market goes how it reacts to um what is going on in the middle east don't forget when uh armed conflicts actually break out you do get a, a lot of uh, spending uh and they are predominant they are usually they i mean they you do markets do rally on stuff like this this is why ultimately why the the elites the people behind the scenes uh like 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 uh conflicts because it just basically means they make loads of money and they don't really care about the people that have to suffer or the general people that suffer or the people that suffer from inflation because of the increased spending they just care about uh the money and power it makes them so um yeah it's no surprise that Af that the uh, the us has its uh has its sabers rattling uh, as it were calling for war um and um yeah basically we hope that they uh, hope we don't they don't prevail so that is it guys remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon